Well, the, uh, the Morris fans lead their way off again, followed by the big militant, and then the uh, Scammell Mechanical Horse, which is one of the larger versions. This is a six ton version with a step frame trailer in the uh, livery of English Mustard Limited. The, uh, the Scammell was a three wheeler designed to be highly manoeuvrable for working around railway stations, depot yards, factories, dock sides and the like. And it featured a very simple, quick coupling system onto the trailers which could be operated by the driver without him having to even leave the cab. It was a very useful facility because in their working lives, the trailers which could either be flats like we see here or vans, could be uh, filled and emptied in a depot and the little tractor unit could go off with a, uh, another one to carry on doing the work whilst the other one was being serviced. They uh, were used in large numbers until the 1960s but uh, when the plating and testing of commercial vehicles came along, unfortunately the Scammell mechanical horse was not really uh, up to the standards that were required for uh, commercial vehicles in the uh, 1960s. And although Scammell did produce some later modified versions, very few of them were in use after 1970. But there are a number in preservation and a very enthusiastic club that uh, helps look after their interests and ensure that people can do a good restoration job on them. The Scammell Company made such a wide variety of vehicles, didn't they, Brian? And the other thing is, there was obviously a good team of people there with great ingenuity because they came up with some really neat ideas and some really original ideas and so many different features. Yes, the, the Scammell, of course, were not one of the early companies into uh, uh, motor vehicle production. Uh, they were one of those companies that did more servicing and uh, repair of vehicles, but in the early 1920s they uh, developed heavy tractor units which were a very new feature into the uh, world of haulage in those days, and by the 1930s, as Howard explained, they were producing these extraordinarily versatile cross-country vehicles, mainly for export. They were going out to Iran and places like that and developing oil fields where uh, vehicles that could pull heavy loads off the roads Whilst they did produce uh, tractor units in use in the UK during the 1930s, it wasn't the major part of their production.